Matthew 16. Is the rock Jesus or Peter? Is the rock Jesus or Peter? The most fussed about, <laughs> debated passage throughout history. It's been going on for uh, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Is Matthew 16. Is Jesus the rock or Peter the rock? And what do I mean by that? Let's read it. Matthew 16, 18. The Catholic interpretation. And I, Jesus, say also unto thee, Peter, that thou art Peter. He's speaking to Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. So Peter is the rock that the whole church is built upon. That's their foundation. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So what the Catholic Church argues is this. They insist that Peter is the first pope. All right? And uh, you just have to look at the other verses. Even if this verse proves that Peter is a rock, that doesn't mean the church is founded upon the popes anyway. Amen. Because Peter is not the pope. That's You're going right. to find out. But we're, that's a separate subject. I'm not going to cover that. Let's cover this one. So the Catholics claim Jesus was talking to Peter. And it really looks like it. Let's be honest. It looks like that. He's speaking to Peter. And he says, you are Peter. The church is built upon you. That's what it really looks like. So... The Catholics, they argue this, the church is built upon Peter, so the authority is Peter. And the Catholics will continue arguing this. Because Peter is the first pope, the church is built upon Peter, the first pope. Which means the popes are what the church is built upon. So you have to believe whatever the pope says. That's why Catholics, see, they blindly follow whatever the popes say. You see that? That's why they blindly follow their leaders, and not the scriptures, but the pope. Why? Because that's what they insist the church is built upon. Now, the Protestant interpretation, and we're going to argue the Bible believers' interpretation is this. We believe this. Jesus was saying, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. That's what we believe. Jesus was talking about himself. Right. Now, that does sound a little weird, and let's be honest, it does sound weird, but you've got to realize this. How you know the right interpretation is not found in one verse. Scripture with Scripture. It is so easy to build a doctrine out of one verse. But you got to realize this. If there are other verses that contradicts it, then that one verse cannot stand with its right doctrine. you got to understand that. Yeah. That's an important rule of interpretation. Okay, now how do we know Jesus was going like this? You are Peter and this rock, Jesus Christ. Because he did that before. Go to John 2. Go to John 2. The Pharisees were just like the Catholics mistaking Jesus to talk about some other temple out there, not this temple himself. Go to John chapter 2. John chapter 2. We'll look at verse 19. John chapter 2. We'll look at verse 19. Jesus answered and said unto them, the religious leaders, destroy, and this is what we believe, destroy this temple. Jesus was going like this. This temple, not like that, that temple. This temple. This temple. And in three days I'll raise it up. Now, this is what the Catholics do, all right? And this is what the religious leaders did. Verse 20. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? See, the religious leaders, just like the Catholic religious leaders, were thinking, Oh, no, Jesus was talking about that temple, not this temple. Look at verse 21. But he spake of the temple of what? His body. He's talking about himself. You see that? Amen. So what was Jesus doing? Jesus was saying, Thou art Peter upon this rock. Not this rock. This rock I will build my church. Yeah. Same thing with the temple. Destroy, not this temple, this temple. And in three days I'll raise it up. Now, isn't that very possible? I didn't say affirmed, okay? Isn't it very possible that Jesus will do that at Matthew 16? Yes, it can be possible. Now, how do we know that possible interpretation is very true? Because Peter himself said, Jesus is a rock. That's why. Go to 1 Peter. 1 Peter 2. 1 Peter 2. Peter knew that he wasn't the rock. Peter knew Jesus was the rock. Go to 1 Peter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2. You see what, how easy it is to find the interpretation with Scripture with Scripture. It's not that difficult. Go to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Notice that Peter realized that this rock was referring to Jesus. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Ye also, Peter is writing, ye also as lively stones, 
are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. So the subject is Jesus Christ. And what did he say about Jesus Christ? Verse 6. Wherefore, also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief corner stone. Oh, stone, elect precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders dis disallowed. Second time he said it. The same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of stumbling. Third time he said it. And a what? Rock of offense. Fourth time he said it, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Now, did you see that? G Peter called Jesus. He went four times. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Hey, hey Catholics, don't misunderstand me. The doctorate, PhDs, Pope and Cardinals out there, don't misunderstand me. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Four times. That's right. How can you miss that? Peter never called himself a rock. He called Jesus the rock. Amen. Now, if that's not enough, okay, go to 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10. Peter himself confessed that he is not the rock, but that Jesus Christ is the rock. Not only that, Paul as well. Paul. And if you want to find the two most famous Christian leaders are Peter and Paul. And guess what? Peter and Paul said Jesus Christ is the rock. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. We'll look at verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock oh, that followed them. And that rock was Simon Peter, the first pope. Christ. Amen. Is that clear? Three words. Okay. Rock was Christ. What are you going to do about that? Well, Peter is a rock. Okay, show me a verse where Peter is a rock. You're not going to find one. You're not going to find one verse. The only verse you're going to find that Peter could be the rock is only one verse, which can go two ways. Matthew 16. That's the only verse. And it could be talking about Peter, or it could be talking about Jesus. Now, which argument is stronger? Jesus, obviously. Amen. You know why? Because John chapter 2 shows the possibility that he was pointing out himself, not, not someone else out there. And not, that possibility became a confirmation with Peter saying, Jesus once, Jesus twice, Jesus, Jesus. He called him the rock, the stone, all right? Four times. And Paul called, said plainly, the rock was Christ. You know what the sad thing is, what some foolish Protestants do? In Matthew 16, 18, oh, the reason why we believe Jesus Christ is rock, because if you look at the Greek, the Greek shows that, you know, the stronger word that Jesus Christ is the bigger rock. And he was talking about the bigger rock right here. So the bigger rock is referring to Jesus. But no, he called him Peter, which means smaller rock in the Greek. And then the Catholics say, well, no, in the Aramaic, see, it's not, that's the case. Jesus used that same word, that Aramaic word, which was referring to himself as a rock. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? Right. We can argue either way with languages. That's one thing I learned. Right. What's our final authority? Not, uh, not, the final authority is not us picking which language we want right. to support our argument. Because then your final authority is you, again. The final authority is the scriptures. Yeah. And guess what? The scriptures point out that Jesus has to be the rock. Amen. 